Meteorologist Jay Polk in for Rachel, tracking that heavy rain for tonight. Yeah, you can definitely see these rain shafts as we take a look off in the distance back towards the mountains, James. As we take a look from that Pueblo West camera, Highway 50 and Purcell Boulevard brought to you by Parkview Medical Center. Salida looking back at Mount Chavano. Plenty of clouds, plenty of showers here as well as you look back towards the Collegiate Peaks and towards the Continental Divide. But it's much cooler. At least it's only 65 degrees. Winds are out of the northwest, though, at a pretty good clip, 16 miles per hour at this hour. Skyscan satellite radar. Watch the showers just blossom as we go through the afternoon. And we're taking a look at the area between Salida, which is on the left hand side of your screen, and Pueblo West, which is right over here. So you can see those showers a little bit closer to Pueblo West than they are to Salida at this point. But each city is going to get a chance for some of those showers and storms as we go through the rest of the afternoon. And the SkyScan satellite radar shows us that the bulk of what we are seeing right now is along until the west of I-25. Some of the showers are spilling into central Los Animas County over towards Kim. That's why we were able to show you some of those showers with that Kim Vieira wireless network camera just a few seconds ago. Skycast, as we go through the rest of the evening, the showers and storms do make their way to the plains. And as they do that, they will be fairly intense all the way through the next several hours, all the way to about 10 or 11 o'clock before they begin to fade away as they push eastward into Kansas. Some of them could have perhaps large hail and damaging winds attached to them as we go through the next several hours. And as we go through tomorrow, it's more of a saying. The beat goes on as we continue to see those chances for showers and storms making their way again into the plains where, once again, they could be on the strong and severe side before rolling into Kansas as we go through our early Friday morning. So, our storm tracker for tonight and tomorrow morning calls for possibilities for large hail and damaging winds in the areas highlighted, especially in the yellow on your screen, which is along I-70 between Lyman and Burlington and down towards Cheyenne Wells. And we're going to see areas also with a marginal risk that's so mainly from the springs south eastward over towards Springfield. Lows tonight sitting in the 50s and 60s for most. 58 in the spring, 62 in Canyon City and in Pueblo. Lower to middle 60s in the plains, 40s and 50s up in the mountains. Seven day forecast then for the springs. High temperatures, 81 to 78 is where we're going on Thursday and Friday. And then temperatures rebound a little bit. You notice that we're back to the 80s to right around 90 as we end off our forecast with chances for showers and storms just about each day. In Pueblo, our seven day forecast, 88 to 84 is where we're going. And then we're in the upper 80s to right around 90. Temperatures then sitting in the lower to middle and middle to upper 90s as we end off the forecast. Lows are in the 60s across the board, just about. Canyon City, 86 to 83. And then it's 87 and 88 for the two weekend days. The 4th of July holiday is on Monday, and it's right around 92 for us in Fremont County. Temperature sitting in the lower to middle 90s to end off the forecast as well. Teller County, 70 to 67, then 71 and 72. Then temperatures do rebound a little bit. They'll be sitting in the mid to upper 70s, James and Heather, as we go through the end of the forecast. We are going to see those chances for showers and storms across the board. You know what, though? 20% is not unusual for summer for Teller County in the afternoon. Yeah. Why don't you keep the umbrella with you? The afternoon plan should be okay. Sounds good. All right. Hey, thanks. Good piece of advice. Thanks, Jake. Thank you.